Oh, this is not a spring chicken. Well, the big news today is, well, Fashion Week in L.A. has started and headlines are up, which means good news for the Republicans and bad news for the Democrats for this election. Meanwhile, we're going to bring on Kemal with comments on the headlines of today. So what is this about headlines being historical? Well, it's historical that, um, that uh, rising headlines indicates a rising market, and a rising market always means Republicans take the presidency. And right now, um, last night, I saw more, more rear ends showing and lots of legs than I have seen in years, not since back, not since the days of Ronald Reagan have I seen so many short skirts and so many legs at an event. And this is Hollywood, folks. This is left-wing liberal, and they're wearing short skirts. And Obama proposes new rules to cripple the trucking industry, but will save them fifty billion dollars. Oh, I, I mean, they. I mean, even his people couldn't quite comprehend how it was going to make. He's going to save the industry. The cost. It's not going to cost them. Uh, diesel fuel prices will inevitably go down because he's going to force the industry to become green. And becoming green, they won't use as much diesel fuel, which will drive the cost of diesel fuel down. No, because what happens anytime you force industry to change, they have to invest in the change. That change will cost more than if they, they, they said, uh, the, one of the experts said this morning, on Bloomberg, they think it will cost the consumer public and the transportation industry a trillion dollars to save 50 million, but Obama is determined to have a green industry even if it destroys the country. UN aid chief seeks relief for um, Syrian civilians. Well, because it's a war, folks. There are no civilians in a Okay, there's a civil war going on in uh, Syria. When a civil war is going on, it means both sides are fighting one another. So what happens then? There are no longer any civilians in a country at war. And women's headlines rising bad sign for Democrats. Oh, well, we did talk about that. Yeah, well, that's a news item, folks. And Obama yet again blames Bush Republicans and bad vibes in the Middle East with the high price of gas and pushes new EPA rules to make gas cost more. Well, I know. He, he, everything he does, okay, he, I love this. You know, Republicans' response to everything is to increase the supply. Well, I've increased the supply and the gas prices have went down. Well, no, he hasn't increased the supply. He's decreased the supply. All of the drilling permits are on private property of which he has no control over. The production increases are on private property of which he has no control over. The drilling is not being done anywhere on government land. And he's also, he's banned drilling for natural gas. The only natural gas we have is on private property. So when they said, well, you know, that he is responsible for higher production? No, he is responsible for the high price of petroleum. And they, they, they said today, he's losing the support of the Democratic Party on the gasoline prices because the people are starting, they're, they're beginning to find out what happened, and how he got elected was the price of gas went to $1.85 a gallon. And, and that was too high. And Palin backs Gingrich and leaves the door open for herself. Because there's going to be a floor fight at the convention. <laughs> it won't, but what it means is she's going to be able to toss support. To probably, in my guess, it's probably going to be Rubio of Florida that's going to get the nomination. Or she could get the nomination. No, they'll never give her the nomination because the Republican... Oh, they don't trade, like women. They don't like, they don't like him, they don't like her any more than they then they like Genrich or they like Santorum, but the, uh, basically it is going to the convention no matter what the Republican leadership wants. And Italy condemns botched uh, British raid in Nigeria. Yeah, they killed the people. Somebody tipped off the Nigerian rebels that there was going to be a British raid. This is why there's going to be no tipping off Obama that there's going to be a raid because they said, uh, they, well I heard one of the, one of the Jewish uh, ambassador said he can bet that the uh, president, hey, you know, hey, I'm Dinadot, the Jews are going to stage a raid on you at, uh, okay, figure in 15 minutes. How many airplanes do you want to have in the air? Because we'll tell you exactly where they're coming from. They, they don't trust them. <laughs> and traditionally, everything slows down on the, the time change for daylight savings day. Oh, God, it was yesterday, though. I mean, we, we went to. We went to an event, a fashion event yesterday that looked like it was in total slow motion. I mean, 
people, everybody was off a click because everybody lost that helper's sleep. I know, it's amazing what an hour difference does. It's, it's the one day of the entire year because uh, what happens is people stay up, their, their systems are geared for staying up. So if, say you stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning and you have to get up at a normal time, which is 8, you're now getting up at 7, so that hour is a loss. And Italy, um, well actually we already did that, huh? Yeah. And unions to contribute over one billion dollars to Democrats. I want the laws changed to stop business from contributing to Republicans. Oh yeah, they're wanting the Justice Department to go and file. The Supreme Court said the campaign finance rules were illegal. He, Obama, doesn't feel that they're illegal. He feels that it's illegal. He feels that that businesses have an unfair advantage. Um, they're not contributing anything near a billion dollars like the unions are. But the unions were throwing a fit this morning. They had Eric Holder standing with them and that uh, we need to put a halt to this investment by businesses trying to take over this nation's electoral system. With guys saying that they're, they're going to put, uh, SEIU is going to put up over $400 million. And that's something one union, $400 million to elect Democrats. And they don't think, we, well, you know, well, those, those brothers, they're contributing $10 million to the Republican committee. Uh, $400 million, $10 million, $400 million. I guess, though, by Obama math, that's the same difference, though. And Morgan Stanley banker pleads not guilty in cab driver assault. Yeah, because, um, first of all, you're not going to win a war. Uh, the cab driver is never going to win a war against anybody in New York City because they got the worst cabs in the entire universe. They, they talk back to people. They... You know, they demand this, demand that, so you're in a losing battle if you go to court, you know, if a cab driver goes to court, because they'll laugh them up in the course room. And China reports rare trade deficit as imports jump. They are now predicting that, um, that the year 2012 is going to be a bad year for the Chinese economy because, well, what it is, they've been burying all of this stuff for some time. Everybody in the world but Obama knew that the Chinese were lying about how well their economy is doing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he points to China as an example of how, you know, free market, green country will work. Well, the green, green market sucks in China, and their, their solar energy, their, their solar panel people are going bankrupt even with China supporting them. Oh, really? Yeah. And Pakistan's top court targets army. Yeah, because uh, if you don't support the Islamic government, you're on your way out, folks. And Romney's victories leave GOP leaders unimpressed. Well, yeah, because, uh, well, it's inevitable that he's going to win. But they, they gave the guy, a guy only picked up seven delegates last week, and they gave him 23 more in order to keep him, keep him ahead in the thing. They just took Santorum delegates and gave them to Romney. And guess what Santorum is doing? Every, okay. Well, it, it, Romney has lost every single caucus when they go back and recount. Mm -hmm. And he barely won the caucus in Wyoming, which uh, Ron Paul was heavily favored to win, and Ron Paul came in last, which Ron Paul didn't really. You know, if Ron Paul is in Ron Paul country and Ron Paul loses the caucus and finishes last, you know there's going to be an investigation. And California preacher concedes apocalypse prediction wrong. Yeah, well, uh, 2012 may be right because if they re-elect Obama, it was, I find it amazing that, that a zillion years ago the Mayans discovered that Obama would be president in 2012. And hiker missing for month found in New Mexico forest. Okay, BS says that that's not the biggest bunch of BS. Him and his aunt cat were found tired and weak, but they were discovered. They, oh. I don't think so. A cat will walk off if it gets hungry. An effort to put marijuana legalization measure on ballot is in disarray. Because they can't, okay, while the you know, Democrats may want it, while some Republicans think of it as a way to make money, the public sees the problem. Uh, there are no laws about driving automobiles, flying airplanes, where alcohol they got laws, drugs they have laws, if they make marijuana legal, legal there's no, and marijuana isn't even covered under smoking laws. Oh. You can smoke marijuana in places you can't smoke a cigarette. And actor Michael Madsen arrested in Malibu after altercation with teen son. Well, this is what happens if you don't do exactly what your son demands you do in a left-wing state. They arrest you. 
Animonte bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, this is another one I just figured out from last night. It doesn't make any difference how many people tell you you look good for your age. You know you don't look good for your age.